Imagine, if you will, you're a sailor of time long, long ago, voyaging throughout the vast Mediterranean Sea. Traveling for days upon end, you finally emerge near the shores of Alexandria, Egypt, where you spot a massive tower-like structure with a bright light up top. Nope, not that. Rather than being Sauron, the Dark Lord of Middle-earth, this structure is one of opulence and beauty. This was an eye pleaser that was once one of the seven ancient wonders of the world, and unfortunately, one that is no longer with us. We invite you today to embark with us on a journey through history as we unveil the majesty behind a very remarkable architectural wonder that stood tall for over 1,500 years. Today, on Amateur Archaeology, we'll be gazing our sights up at the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria. Often referred to as the Great Lighthouse or the Lighthouse of Alexandria or the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria or the Pharaoh's Lighthouse or the Pharaoh's of Alexandria or… you get the point. Regardless of what you want to call it, this wonder was a sight to behold. But this lighthouse alone wasn't any ordinary old lighthouse. It is one that stood out in a vast ancient city of magnificence known as Alexandria. Today, Alexandria's majestic history entices travelers and sightseers, both near and far, to pay homage to the Greco-Roman wonders of Egypt. It is home to beautiful landmarks such as the Citadel of Quaite Bay, Fort Quaite Bay, the Catacombs, Pompey's Pillar, Montanza Palace and Royal Gardens, Stanley Bridge, and at one point in history before its demise, the Great Library. In fact, one of the ones just mentioned, the Citadel of Quaite Bay, was actually built on the foundation of what was once the Great Lighthouse. But today, we're not going over these other attractions of Alexandria. Rather, we're going to focus our lenses on the mesmerizing Lighthouse of Alexandria. This magnificent beauty was located on the eastern edge of the island of Pharos in Alexandria, Egypt. In an era dominated by the rise and fall of empires, the Lighthouse of Alexandria stood as a silent observer, casting its beam across the bustling harbor of Alexandria. The city, a pulsating heart of commerce and culture, was renowned across the ancient world, and the Lighthouse was its glittering crown jewel. Constructed in the 3rd century BC, the Great Lighthouse played a critical role in guiding ships safely to the port, its flame visible from miles away. Built during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus, the Great Lighthouse donned Greek goddess statues within viewable distances from afar. On the old Greco-Egyptian coin, the lighthouse had Triton statue on each individual corner of the top tier, with Poseidon and Zeus's statues standing at the top. The genius behind this contemporary innovative structure was Greek architect Sostratus of Nidus. We could probably really use him today with how absolutely dull and boring a majority of modern architecture is. According to historians, the location of the lighthouse had been strategically planned as it served as an important navigational aid for ships passing through the Mediterranean Sea. The Great Lighthouse used a combination of mirrors and sunlight to project its beams far out into the sea, allowing sailors to accurately navigate their way towards Alexandria's port. Architecturally, the Lighthouse of Alexandria reflected the zenith of Hellenistic ingenuity. It featured seven-tier circular towers with decorated brass statues and the oracles that were visible to any spectators and observers from afar. The structure of the lighthouse itself was divided into three sections, a rectangular base, an octagonal midsection, and a cylindrical top. A mirror at the top reflected sunlight during the day, while a fire illuminated the harbor at night. There was a platform that measured approximately 60 meters on each side. The middle section of the lighthouse was a cylindrical tower that was approximately 30 meters in diameter. The top section of the lighthouse featured a large mirror that reflected sunlight during the day and a fire at night to guide ships safely into the harbor. The fire that was lit at night was in large fire baskets filled with combustible material on the top terrace. Backports allowed them to sojourn successfully across a long sea expanse and dangerous currents in deep shell-infested waters. More impressively, though, was the tower's building process. 
The lighthouse is thought to have stood approximately 135 meters tall and constructed predominantly of large blocks of light-colored stone that were cleverly used to withstand centuries of sea storms and earthquakes. Or, at least that's what its builders thought about the earthquakes. But we'll get to that later. It's estimated that nearly a third of the population living in villages surrounding the lighthouse had joined forces to complete this Herculean task within 12 years. The finished product resulted in the Great Lighthouse being one of the tallest man-made structures in the world at the time, second only to the Great Pyramid of Giza. And it wasn't just the exterior that was impressive, but also the interior, which contained a complex internal ramp system, allowing the transportation of fuel for the beacon to the top. The lighthouse is thought to have been as impenetrable as possible, with the entrance having to be approached via artillery for anyone that dared to be up for the task of conquering the iconic landmark. In recent years, there's been a renewed interest in the history and legacy of the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria, with even plans in the works to build a new one on Pharos Island using modern engineering techniques. The Permanent Committee of the Egyptian Antiquities approved this project in 2015, but it is uncertain what the current status of this proposed project is and whether or not it's still pending other approvals. Though, we must say, it would be pretty darn cool if that does go through. When it was still standing, though, the lighthouse had undergone several reconstructions due to the aftermath of numerous disastrous events throughout the centuries, which greatly damaged it including two earthquakes in 796 and 951 AD, respectively. But wait! There's more! There's more. Between 1303 and 1323 AD, three more earthquakes had struck the enthralling lighthouse with misfortune. While the first earthquake during this duration, the one in 1303, had been the most damaging, the third and final earthquake was the one that struck the final blow to the lighthouse. Having stood for over 1,500 years, even having withstood a severe tsunami in 365 AD, the Lighthouse of Alexandria was finally destroyed in 1323. The unaltered foundation finally succumbed to natural calamity and a series of earth tremors. The destruction of this iconic structure marked an end to an era and was one of the last two wonders of the ancient world to be destroyed, along with the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which was also destroyed by an earthquake. <laughs> the destruction of the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria meant that the future generations would never enjoy its light nor experience its grandeur, but its legacy has been kept alive by many replicas and references to it in popular culture. It was truly a marvel and inspiration to engineers, even today, guiding future generations, as it stands as an example of the power of human innovation and architectural beauty, even in ancient times. While it is gone now, its ruins and its undying fame, as well as its legacy, lives on in our modern lighthouses that still provide guidance for ships at sea. The Lighthouse of Alexandria remains a symbol of human achievement. Its image is imprinted on coins, statues, and works of literature, bearing testimony to its imposing stature and significance. Its innovative design and functional utility have inspired lighthouse engineers for centuries. There is nothing beyond impossible for what early human beings could accomplish, whose lives have always been dedicated to making a change, albeit for a glorious lighthouse whose fire had faded, leaving no embers. Now, it has found a ray of sunshine, beaming through the spot in which it had once existed, directly into the eyes of those that still behold its beauty, even in the depths of the sea. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can help support a smaller channel like ours. Also, please make sure to smash the absolute crap out of that bell button so you can get notifications on our latest videos and updates for our upcoming Ancient Coin giveaways that we'll start doing once we reach 5,000 subscribers. In the meantime, though, we'll see you next time, only on Amateur Archaeology.